Hey guys, um, just a quick update uh, on my custom spool holder. Um, I had it this high and it was just wobbling, not wobbling, but it just shaking too much. So I lowered it a little bit, had these failed prints that were actually lower. Um, I didn't need it that high because I, as long as I had a straight filament path, so I, I didn't have to, I tried to putting it down, but then your filament path was slightly restricted, but this is perfect. Because every time it pulls, um, the ball bearings just get moved slightly. And the filament stays very loose for TPU. And I've actually set it at 500 millimeters per second at uh, 25K XL. Now with these smaller models, you'll never reach that speed. Um, I'm having trouble even speeding it up. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. Maybe there's something to unlock. Um, but it, it's printing beautifully. Uh, TPU, I'm going slight, I'm going maybe twice faster than my Perusa, um, but I still need to unlock the potential. This is my third day with the Rat Rig, uh, but I really like this filament path here. Um, it's shaking a bit at the top, but you know, it's it's just shaking because the the top unit it just it just picks up the vibration from the printer itself because it's obviously plastic extrusions, uh, but the frame itself. It's not. It's not too vibrating. I mean, it, it, it's it's going so fast, so much faster than my proofs. So it's it's gonna vibrate. <laughs> um, yeah. So looking pretty good. I should have this set up uh, once I modify it a little bit more. Maybe I'll. I think I can lower a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I could also have this thing pointed this way, and it's it's pr pretty much straight path. But it's sort of. I don't want to hit the the rails here. That's why I have it on the back here. I mean, it's working fine. You don't actually need ball bearings. I, you can even get it. You, you, as long as you don't have any restrictions to the uh, filament. But, but with TPU, that is kind of hard to do. So it's, I feel the best way is to go from the top to the bottom. Um, I'm getting really good prints at the fastest speed setting I, I could do right now. Let me see if I can zoom in. I mean, I'm getting really, really good prints at fast speed. Look at that. Just perfect, perfect. Um, but yeah, I've got a, a Octopus Pi 4B here with no fan. I don't run them with a fan. You don't need a fan. Um, they don't. They don't really need a fan. And uh, uh, because I, pff, I got too lazy, and then I, I kept running them without a fan, and they were fine. And I've got a, a Pi camera. And then, yeah, this is. This is my main product, so TPU material. So the reason why I got the rat rig, and right now I'm achieving about twice the speed of a Prusa optimized. Now once I optimize this more, hopefully I can get to 3x, 4x. Then it's worth getting a rat rig. But at this point, I'm just a little, little concerned about, not concerned, but nah, I, I don't see like you know unless the rat rig can go like five times faster or more I don't see the economical economical advantage because you get a cruise Prusa clone for like 300 I mean this is cost five times more so you should run five times faster um, but yeah it's the filament path it's working pretty good it's, it's just slowly rolling away um, anyway just a quick update uh, looking pretty good